Imagine walking into your next assistant principal interview, not only prepared, but also ready to inspire change and transform education. What if this was the opportunity for you to change your leadership legacy? So in today's episode, we're gonna explore strategies and insights that will help you ace your next assistant principal interview and solidify your leadership legacy. So grab a pen, a piece of paper, get ready to take some notes, because we're gonna explore how to ace your next assistant principal interview, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, Gordon Emerson here, Superintendent of Schools and Gallup Certified Strengths Coach. On this channel, we help take my experience from classroom teacher to school district superintendent to help you go further faster in your educational leadership and implement a strengths-based life. So if this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss any cool updates or any of our newest episodes. So in today's episode, we want to explore some insights and some things for you to consider and think about as you move towards becoming an assistant principal. Whatever your path has been, whether it's going from a classroom teacher, maybe a school counselor, maybe a school psychologist position, any of those positions are potentially pathways to become an assistant principal. But no one understands that the assistant principal position is an entry level management position. And that work is critically important to the operations, the logistics, and the functioning of a campus. So I think about and I reflect on my own experience having been a high school assistant principal. And I think about you know what my roles and what my responsibilities were as I served as an assistant principal. So we're gonna give you three insights to think about with respect to becoming an assistant principal and what are the what are the perspectives and the lenses that you have to be thinking about when it comes to being effective at being an assistant principal. When I think about my own experience, I was very fortunate. I had a principal who saw something in me going from being a classroom teacher and she tapped me on the shoulder and she told me that she thought I was gonna be an excellent assistant principal. And at the time, I didn't even know what it meant to be an assistant principal. I just thought they were cool people that walked around and drank coffee all day long. Boy, was I wrong about that. But the reality of when she brought that to me, when she tapped me on the shoulder and she told me that she thought that that was something that I could be, that she thought I could be effective in that, it sparked something in me. So if you've been inspired by someone, if you've been tapped on the shoulder, or if you're just driven by your own internal drive to want to be an assistant principal that you wanna grow and have that impact. We're gonna share some insights and some things for you to think about and to consider as you move into applying, interviewing, and hopefully securing your first job as an assistant principal. So as we move into that, let me ask you this. Can you share with me in the comments below, what is your driving factor? Why do you wanna be an assistant principal? What's your motivation? Why do you wanna be it? Why do you wanna take on this role and this responsibility? Because it's a very, very big responsibility. But share with me in the comments below, what's driving you to wanna be an assistant principal? And we're gonna jump right in with our first insight on things to think about of being an assistant principal. All right, let's start with assistant principal insight number one. Know your role. And I know that might come off a little bit harsh. I don't mean it to be that way, but I do wanna be clear and direct that your first and foremost job as an assistant principal is to be an assistant. You are assisting the principal in executing on their goals, on their vision. You are helping to assist the principal on executing whatever it is that are the core metrics, the core deliverables of what that principal has deemed to be the direction of the school. And so the first thing you wanna be able to do is explore and know what that role is, be able to get insights, be able to get wisdom, be able to get thoughts, be able to get clear direction from your principal. So you wanna spend time with them because you want to share with them how you are gonna come alongside them, how you're going to be there to support them, how you're going to be thinking about all the things that they wanna do and you want to operate in a role where you can be one or two steps ahead of them to help them carry out and execute on the key things that they wanna do. But knowing your role and understanding and embracing that role and thriving in that role is really, really important because eventually, it is my hope that you would want to be a principal, but you need to be an effective assistant principal first to know and understand what it takes to run a school. You don't learn how to run a school by being a principal. You learn how to run a school by being an assistant principal and thinking, supporting, 
nurturing, developing, and executing on all the tasks and the directions that are given to you from the principal. That's how you learn. In my own experience, knowing and understanding my role when I was an assistant principal, it wasn't my school. And the faster I knew and understood that it was not my school, it was the principal school, but I was a very, very important influential member of that school community. And I was number two in the leadership of that school. Helped me to understand what my role and responsibilities to that school and more importantly to that principal. Knowing and understanding what that was and embracing that is critically important. So as you think about and as you prepare for your assistant principal interview, you wanna think about understanding how you convey to the interview panel what you understand and what you embrace and respect about being the assistant principal and what your core function will be, which is to help the principal execute on their vision and execute on their goals. When you can convey that and principals and the hiring committee knows that that's your position and that's the the angle that you're gonna take as you approach the work, I think it will serve you well with how you stand out amongst other candidates, being able to clearly articulate that vision of being the number one assistant to the principal and helping them to execute the work that they need to do. That's assistant principal insight number one. Assistant principal insight number two. Know and understand your school community. If and when you know what school you potentially can become the assistant principal at, and if you know then when you're going through the interview what school it potentially is going to be, do yourself a favor and gather as much information and as much insight about the school as possible. Knowing about them, taking publicly available information, the internet is a treasure trove of information, whether it be school site plans, whether it be dashboard information, whether it be student performance, it's publicly available. Going through social media and, and running a hashtag about the school and trying to see what you can find that will tell you about the school's culture, about the school community, about what things that they value. I cannot tell you how disrespectful it is to walk into an interview not having done information and not having done background and research on the school that you're interviewing with. Because remember, the people who you are sitting in front of doing that interview with, these folks spend a lot of time at those schools. They have dedicated, in some cases, decades of their lives to that particular school. They value it. They love it. And what they want to know is when people are potentially going to join their school community, that they know about them, that they care about them, that they've cared enough about them to do a little bit of research and that they, they value it enough to have done a little bit of time and effort and energy to know who they are and what they're all about. So do yourself a favor. When you know and can get access to the information, do your due diligence, do your research. If you don't know and you think it could be a batch of two or three schools, then dig up as much information as you can on those two or three schools so you can still speak with some level of authority, with some level of description, with some level of detail about their schools. It will, it will connect you with the interview panel. It will connect you with the representatives from that particular school. It will serve you well. You want them to put you in a positive light. You want them to have a positive perspective about you because you've spent time interviewing with them. And I will tell you, having interviewed hundreds, if not thousands of people over the years, this is a great way to connect with the interview panel by being able to reflect to them who they are, what they're about, and what they value, and how you also value those very same things. That's a great way to connect with the panel and with the principal in particular. That's assistant principal insight number two. Assistant principal insight number three, don't get stereotyped. So what do you mean? What do you mean don't get stereotyped, Gordon? Here's what I'm talking about. Two of the most critical functions of every single school are discipline and supervision. Discipline and supervision. Don't get stereotyped and pigeonholed that you're only somebody who can do discipline and supervision. Discipline is a core component of the school. You've got to have order. You've got to have consistent procedures. You've got to have consistent policies. You've got to hold students accountable. 
those are all critically important. You've got to have supervision. You got to make sure that bus supervision is done. You got to make sure that lunch supervision is done. You got to make sure that release time at the end of the school day and arrival time at the beginning of the day, that those are all supervised. But that can't be the only gifts and talents that you bring to the conversation. You have to be effective and efficient at discipline. You have to be effective and efficient at supervision and leveraging the resources around campus, around your paraprofessionals and your aides and your proctors to be able to help with supervision. So you've got to be a consummate leader in managing those resources. But what you don't want to get stereotyped in to is that you only do discipline and you only do supervision because I can guarantee you back to leadership and assistant principal insight number one, helping the principal to execute on their vision. It is not the principal's vision to just simply do supervision and discipline. It is the principal's vision to move student achievement. So while you are showing that you can be an effective disciplinarian when necessary, and that you can effectively manage resources around supervision, you also wanna showcase your ability to be an instructional leader, to be an instructional expert, or be somebody who is learning and growing in your development of your skills to be a professional development, uh, uh, somebody who can lead professional development effectively, somebody who can lead a PLC, somebody who can lead a data chat, somebody who can move the needle in instructional leadership is gonna be important. So don't get stereotyped into just being somebody who knows discipline and just knows supervision. You have to show that you can do those things, but also you have the ability to move the needle and move the dial on student achievement because that's the core function of the principal is to advance the students teaching, excuse me, the students learning and the teaching and effective teaching practices of all of the faculty. So understanding your ability to do that is going to move the needle. It's going to move the dial for you. You have to convey that in the assistant principal interview. Yes, I can do these pieces, which makes sure that the school is functioning effectively, which makes sure that you have a safe and orderly environment. Yes, but at the, where the rubber meets the road is how do you move student achievement? So when you have the opportunity to showcase those skills, get into professional development, get into PLCs, get into grade levels, get into departments and add value to the conversation around instruction, add value into the conversation around assessment, add value into the conversations around how do we design learning experiences for students. This is where you build your credibility. This is where you make sure that you don't get stereotyped into being just one or two things, but rather you're a dynamic leadership individual. You're a dynamic educational leader. These are the types of things you wanna do and you wanna be able to convey that during the assistant principal interview. So you wanna be thinking about how you convey that you can do those pieces, but also that you're focused on student achievement and that you're focused on the teaching and learning and the growth and development of your staff. That's gonna be really important. So don't get stereotyped. That's assistant principal insight number three. So there you have it. Three insights to help you as you think about and as you prepare moving forward in your quest to becoming an assistant principal. The assistant principal job was one of the best jobs I ever had. It's one of the best jobs I ever had because I learned so much. It was like getting fed through a fire hose because there's so many different pieces that are moving and coming at you uh, left and right every single day. It's always something new, it's always something different. It is a great opportunity to learn and grow and get better and expand your skills and knowledge as an educational leader. So if this is the quest that you're on, we wanna support you in that. And you want to take these leadership insights, take these things that you're thinking through, uh, get more information, uh, check out these additional videos that will give you insights on becoming an assistant principal, right? And share with us again in the comments below, again, what's your next step? What's the next thing you wanna do on your journey to become an assistant principal? What are the next uh, steps you're gonna take? What are the next actions? What are the additional resources that you need? Share those with us in the comments below and we can provide support. We can provide additional insights, additional videos that will help connect the dots for you. All right. So if you got some value out of the video today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, share with 10 friends. This helps get the channel out to more people so we can continue to provide support and resources to our aspiring education and educational leaders. This is our mission. We are working on this every single day to help provide 
these resources for more people to become educational leaders. And we're so inspired and so happy to provide that every single day for you. So until we see you on the next, on our next video, I ask you to take care of yourself, take care of each other, and be well. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, everyone.